it's William, and it's day two, let's say a long day two of this orientation. Now, that pretty much sucked the life out of me today. Um, I wish they would have done this, like today's training, I wish would have been yesterday. And then I wish we'd have had our truck inspection and everything, because yesterday we were done by noon. And today was eight hours of grind. Uh, I'm just, you know, the first half of this day, I pretty much took in everything they told me and, and thought I knew exactly what I needed to be doing. But I'm telling you, the rest of this day, it just sucked the life right out of me. So, you know, if you're going to get into this, prepare yourself. And, and like the lady said today, she said, this is the worst day of the whole thing. And she says, once you start doing it, it'll get better and it'll get easier. And, and I hope she's right because all the stuff that you have to take care of and keep an eye on and I mean I, I got a whole new respect for truck drivers now after just going through that class of all the bullshit I mean just the bullshit and and and, and I understand that they got to do as much as possible to keep everything safe and everybody safe but it it's a lot and and I'm gonna have to think about this stuff the rest of the day and I need to get some food and just, you know, I think tomorrow will be a fresh day. So this, this video is going to be stretched out a little bit. I thought I'd be hooking my unit and, 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 and already on the road tonight. But after this class, I, I, I'm not. I mean, I know half the drivers I talked to were planning on leaving today. And now about half of them decided not to. And, and I think it's probably because it sucked the life out of you. I mean, right now I'm... You know, I'm leaving that class, and if I wanted to go drive for 11 hours, they're going to let me go drive. And, and, and I don't know, driving to me is easier on me than sitting in that class, you know, letting my brain have to, you know, think about all that stuff and take all that in. So it just sucked the life out of me. So I'm not. I, I'm going to go back to my hotel. I'm going to look at this load board and try to learn this stuff a little more. There's plenty of loads, plenty of loads. Um, I'm going to try to pick the right one, make the right decision. And, uh, you know, it's, it's hard this time of the year because I'm trying to watch the weather, too. They've got some loads going back where I need to go, right past me up in the New York area and Jersey area and stuff like that. And that and they pay good. And that's what I like to do. But right now, they're looking at maybe their biggest snowstorm up there. So I don't know if that's a smart thing to do. Um, you know. <laughs> As you watch these videos, I will get this figured out and get better and better at it but I can tell you right now all the guys in there were looking at me going hey you need to make a video so we know what we're doing and I'm thinking huh, yeah I, I gotta learn a lot first but I, I just you know these these first videos are telling you what you need to be prepared for so and the other thing in the other video when you watch the other video I talked about um, way uh, yeah wave and, and horizon being owned by the same place well our orientation today was done by one lady and she did five of us from Wave and about seven or eight guys from Horizon. So, yeah, they are. I found out more of the story that uh, another one of the family members started the, the Wave company 20 years ago. And Horizon's been around for 40 years. So, I, I think Horizon was owned by the parents. And then it kind of got, after they passed away or whatever, it got passed down. Um, but it is family. And it is two separate businesses. Just the Horizon's the oldest one. And... Uh, wave is the younger one so that kind of you know kind of tells me a little bit more about it and one of the guys next to me I'm like well why did you pick horizon he goes well none of the others would call me back so it's just weird sometimes I wonder if they're working together going hey that guy applied for both of us um, you take him on that one and I'll take him on this one is that weird or what so he he, he said I would have worked for wave but I they didn't get back to me nobody wanted to help me out so you know that, that tells you that there's probably more going on with those two companies than you know but um, you know it's all good Every, everybody there was great um, seems like everybody's very helpful um, I talked to a lot of guys that I like and, 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 I, and I felt I didn't feel like oh my god I'm going to screw you over so that I get more loads than you I didn't, I didn't feel like that I felt like they were all like you know what the more loads we all do the more loads this company gets and the better off we all are and I, and I like that I like that a lot um but I'm telling you, prepare yourself for that long day of eight hours of learning those log books. And I'm telling you, there's just a lot. That I thought I knew what I was doing by noon this morning. And now 
I'm driving back to the hotel feeling like I don't know shit. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna leave the video right here at this and then hopefully tomorrow I grab my load and I'll try to take you through all that first, you know, the first things you gotta do, all the pictures and you know, you gotta, you know, there's just a lot to do. Um, I, I'm hoping I do these videos you know where, where you guys can understand what's going on and not like the ones I've watched on YouTube where I felt like yeah I watched that guy's video for an hour and I don't know no more than I knew before so I, I'm hoping that I, I help you out if you decide to get into this line of work and I know that I'll get better the more and more I do it I I'm one of these people that I just you know I like to f do things and I like to make it as simple as possible and I just like train myself to just boom 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 where it all comes natural and I've done so many different jobs out there and so many different things that just were simple and, and I, this right now I can tell you the stuff that they gave me today makes me feel like I'm a complete idiot I just felt like I was you know out of my league or something at first and I'm thinking this is ridiculous I mean I drive more than these guys that are there I, I, I you know they talk about the miles they put on and stuff I put on anywhere from 60 to 100 thousand miles every year for the last 15 years of my life and that's when I started keeping track before that when I was in the motorcycle business I don't even know how many miles because I was driving everywhere hauling bikes picking bikes up taking people up um, guided tours everything and I think I drove just as much back then but um, you know it's just it's just a lot so you know bear with me in this uh, leave some comments of you know if you've done this and you feel the same way I did I talked to some guys there today and they're like boy you need to get this video out to help us well this video is not gonna help anybody right now but it's gonna tell you if you're thinking about getting into this you can prepare yourself for what you're gonna have to go through the, the first day was really easy second day was really hard um, some of the guys told me they've done this thing before where the first day they put all this stuff into the first day and then the second day they do the truck inspection and everything and I think that's the way it should be done because like some of the guys most of those guys already had their trucks set up and knew what they were doing so once they got through the inspection they were ready to go to work and they could have grabbed their load and they could have been on the road half the day and, and know what they were doing now like me if they give me a load right now it's gonna be dark here in a little bit all right do you think I want the first load I ever take I want to take in the dark and, and not have the paperwork filled all right, the log books, go ahead, my luck, I'd get pulled over from the one of the dot inspectors right away and, and I'd look like a joke. I mean, they, they tell you to get all your paperwork and everything in your binder that they give you, get it all lined out perfect, get everything set up so when you get pulled over, you look like you know your shit, even if you don't, because that, a lot of times, will make that guy so much easier on you. Me leaving tonight, I'm not going to be like I know my shit and my luck I'd get pulled over so that's the reason I'm not taking a load tonight so we're going to get back to this and we'll show the rest of what this entails.